Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my return subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. I am doing my Ipsy try on that I promised that I was going to do. I'd really like to start trying on the products that I have been sent. So I don't just get to enjoy them, but I can give you some inspiration and you get to enjoy them as well. Um, the first, I did my skincare already. The first thing I'm going to use that I got, I don't remember what came in the glam bag and what came in the icon box. Most of this is from the icon box, I can tell you that. Uh, I'm going to use the Ciate London Vitamin Boost Plumping Primer. Not Plumping River, like I said yesterday. Um, it squirts out, so be careful. And it does have this coloring to it. And I'm going to, you know, which is not tinted, it's just... I thought it was going to be clear, and we're going to put that on our face. I want it under my eyes, so it pumps out my eyes. Please excuse the giant pimple on my face. I'm not a picker, but there was a piece of skin there, and I couldn't find my tweezers, so I was using a nail cutter <laughs> to cut it off the piece of skin, and I grabbed some real skin, and that was just not a good thing. So we're going to let this sit for one second, and it's not really tacky. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin, you know, um, it feels just like a moisturizer. The second thing I'm going to use is the foundation, which is the Beautiful Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I have it in the shade Neutral 4, and I have, oh, I did that again. Yesterday I opened it, like twisted it off, and it's a pump, and I don't know why I did that. So it just spilled a little. And I'm going to be using my Luxie, is this a Luxie? Luxie Pro Precision Face. It's a foundation brush. I love it for foundation. I'm going to stick a little on there and let's see how, it oh, that's pretty. I don't know that this is going to give me the coverage that I need because I'm a full coverage kind of gal. And you know, with a thinner type of formula, you want to use a brush rather than a sponge because a sponge will soak up everything, you know, and I don't want it to do that. Okay, what do we think? We gotta put, we did. I think the coloring is good. I don't know about the coverage until I see it in my mirror, but it's covering, it seems to be covering my redness a little bit. So I'm gonna have to probably use a concealer. I didn't get a concealer or um, mascara in this box. For some reason that's not. Uh, so I'm gonna have to be using my own with that. And we'll see what I have. Cause I don't usually wear concealer because I use full coverage foundation. But this says on the box that it makes your skin up to 285% which I didn't know there was such a thing. I thought 100% was as high as you could go. 285% um, uh, better. So we'll see what we think of it. And you wanna use a brush instead of a sponge because this is a thinner founda foundation and if you use a sponge, it will soak it all up. So let's see. I'm looking in my mirror. I need to have concealer there. I'm not sure I like the coverage on me, but like I said, I'm like a really full coverage type gal and I don't want to keep wasting this. So I'm going to put that back. I'm going to get a concealer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I added my concealer. I'm only going to show you the products that I got. And now I'm going to put on the Born Ruby Blush Drops. And I probably shouldn't put this directly on my face. I don't know how many I need but I'm doing it very lightly um, and that should be good. And that was this package that we had gotten. And let me see, I have, I left all my brushes underneath. So like that was stupid. We're gonna use our fingers for this. We're just gonna go like that. It's not just tap, 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 tap. That's a really pretty color. I like that shade. That looks really nice. I like it in the mirror. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to add the bronzing stick on. And I just wrecked the whole packaging, so we're not gonna keep this packaging, Adrian. I'm gonna actually throw something out. 
then I'm gonna put the bronzer on right here, right here. I have a small forehead, so I don't really need any right here and here, but I'm gonna put a little bit and I'm gonna put a little under my lip because I really want to accentuate that later on. So I'm gonna do that and I'm going to get the other brush because I left them all on the bottom. Now this is my Rare Beauty Cream Cream brush. Not Rare, Rare Beauty, I'm sorry, it's my She Glam. And I'm just going to dab this. And then I'm probably going to put a powder on and I will use a powder blush on top of it because I really like a lot of blush. You can also do that with your bronzer if you want. And I think the skin's looking good. I really, I really like it. I think it might actually match. I took it down on my neck. The next thing I'm going to use is, I don't know, I don't know what to do first. I don't know if I should set my face or if I should do my eyes. I think I'm gonna set my face. I'm going to use uh, a different product that we didn't get in, that this is something I have. I'm still, we're going to use this to just set our face with. Set under our eyes with. I don't really use a lot of powder under my eyes because I am a woman of a certain age and have a lot of texture. I don't even think that I need um, blush on top of this, but I am gonna use a little bit. And that's really pretty so far. I like the way this is looking. Let's just get over here a little bit. And let me just get a blush and put that on top of this. I always like to set my cream products with a powder product, so that's why I added the blush on top of the powder that I already put down. I am going to now use my primer, eye primer. We did not get one uh, yesterday, but I'm going to use an eye primer. I'm just gonna put it on my finger and blend that up. And I'm gonna do the other side. And then we are going to go into the Dominique Cosmetics Essential Palette. And we're just gonna do a really simple everyday look um probably using it's mostly browns and taupes and stuff like that so we'll definitely be using all of that and i'm just going to do something very simple and then i'm going to do a wear test with the foundation and let you guys know i'll update it in the comment section um in my community page to let you know how it wore throughout the day because you know i'm going to forget to film that part so we're just gonna make sure that goes there. And now I'm gonna use my Love Craft brushes, Love and Plus Craft Plus Beauty brushes that we got yesterday in the palette. I mean, in my box. So we're using the Dominique Essential Palettes. And like I said, I don't know if she changed it from Dominique Cosmetics. If any of you know that, please let me know. I'm gonna take the thing, whoops, sorry about that, off the mirror so I can use my mirror. And let's see, it's a very pretty mirror, it's very nice. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna start with the shade here, darken it up with the shade here. I might use a little bit of that and then probably go in with one of these two shimmers. So the first one we're going to use is, I'm going to take my fluffy, what am I gonna use? We're gonna use our crease brush. So this is our crease blending brush. And I'm gonna go into Compassion. I like the name of that, that's really pretty. And I'm gonna go above my lid and just tap it in and do windshield wiper motions at the same time. I'm gonna have this mirror really close so that you guys can see. That's a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be, but I really, really like it. I like it as a transition shade, and I'm gonna go a little bit above the crease as well, and I'm gonna blend that up. So that's that. We're gonna do the same on the other eye. Okay, so I have them basically pretty much the same, and I'm gonna go in with True Self, 
and I'm going to darken up the outer V. And I'm going to use that color to come underneath my eye as well. So we're going to do about a third of the eye with that. And I'm going to go right here. This is not one of the Lovecraft Beauty. I'm using a different brush. I love this brush. I don't know who makes it. I don't think I do. Um, no, it doesn't have a name on it. And I don't remember where I got it from to tell you. But it's excellent. And it's just like my favorite brush to use for most of my eye work. Because it's so soft. But the Lovecraft Beauty brushes are really, really nice. So I'm really happy with that. And we're going to bring that out a little bit more. And you'll notice I hum when I do my makeup. <laughs> I'm always having something going on. Let's see, how does that look? Does that look even? And I'm going to... That looks good. I really like that so far. That's really pretty. It's very wearable. And I'm going to use our NYX Get Glitter Glue. And I'm going to go in. Actually, I want to put a little surprise punch. Let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to take this crease blend. Not the crease blending brush. Let me see. Whoops, I just dropped something. The fluffy blending brush. I'm going to go into Mi Amo. And I want to do just a little pop of pink right in here because I think it's so pretty and I think it's just gonna make it really interesting you know um in my opinion and with green eyes brown eyes this palette's perfect for anyone blue eyes this color will just pop on you that's really pretty we're just gonna go right there we're gonna do almost like a halo eye and we're gonna do the middle with a shimmer and I have to figure out which shimmer I wanna use. I'm gonna use the packing brush, blah, brush. I said it right the first time. I'm gonna use the packing brush and then I'm gonna do under my eye and I just have to get the NYX glitter glue, one second. So I'm gonna put the glitter glue on with my, my finger. I'm a finger type gal. I don't always need a brush for everything. Um, and we're gonna go right in here. I'm gonna go up, cause that's where I want the bulk of it. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. You want it to get a little tacky, which is why I do it this way. And you just put it on where you're gonna want your glitter to go to. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use my packing brush which I have out because I love a packing brush. And I'm going to use, let's see, this is grapefruit. I don't think that's what I'm going for. Pretty kind is a little light. I think I am going to use grapefruit because we did that color right there. So I'm going to use grapefruit. I'm going to put it on my brush. You don't need to spray your brush if you use a glitter glue. And... I'm gonna just put that right there. That's really pretty. I'm gonna do it on the lid. What do you guys think? That's really a very pretty shimmer. And you could do this from day to night. You can darken it up. Um, with the blacks and the darker browns for an evening look, but for an everyday wearable look to work to a school function, if you have younger kids, parent-teacher conference, whatever it is, I think this is really pretty and I really like it. I'm going to just clean that up a little bit. And that is perfect. And now I'm going to go in with the smudging brush and I'm going to take the first shade. Actually, I'm going to take Mi Amo, which is that purple shade. And I'm just gonna put it under my eye. And just blend that out. 
and attach it. I think that's pretty. It makes your eyes pop. And I think it ties in the shimmer really nicely. And then what I'm going to do is put a little bit of Pretty Kind, which is this shade right here. And I'm just gonna put that as my inner corner highlight using the same packing brush because I have a little bit of glitter glue right there. And this is not as light as I thought it was gonna be, but it's perfect because I don't want it to be so stark because it's a daytime look. So this is what the eyes look like. What the heck? I don't have lipstick on, so. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to use the Give Beauty. Um, should I use this one? Yeah, because we have a nice brown on, on our eyes. And I'm gonna use the Give Beauty Lovable Me um, lipstick. And let me just do this in the mirror, because yesterday my lips looked very wonky on camera. And it's a matte lipstick, but it's a very comfortable matte lipstick. So I want to just stress that because I am very funny about my matte lipsticks. And that's really pretty. I really like it. And the packaging, I forgot to tell you guys how much I love this packaging yesterday. It is so nice and so good. And then you open it up and it has the same thing right there. And it's just so pretty and so luxe. I absolutely love it. I'm going to add mascara and I'm not going to do an eyelash today because like I said, it's a daytime look and actually let me do the brow freeze first because I have this and why not? So we're going to do the Anastasia brow freeze and it came with our little spoolie. So I'm going to stick that in and just stick it in and turn it around. So I get it on the spoolie and we're just going to brush it through our eyebrows which mine are very light <laughs> and I like to make them very, very dark. But like I said, I'm not going to do any of that today because I want this to be a wearable daytime look for you. Also, you can always try, because I have a problem that way. Oh, this one doesn't do it. I was going to say you could try bending the tip of it if you are right-handed or left, I guess either hand and you have trouble get doing your other side. And I'm just going to put that up and do like a fluffy brow. And you can see my eyebrows. I like that. That's really nice. It feels like it's going to stick. Just turn that around so I get the rest of the... And they're going to stay in place. So I really like that. And now I'm going to add my mascara and I will be right back. And this is the final look. I should have done my hair, but I didn't think to do that. Um, I think it came out really pretty. I don't know how I feel about the primer. It didn't really have a lot of um, tackiness to it, so I don't know how long the makeup's going to stay. Uh, if this doesn't stay long, I will do another wear test where I use a primer that I know and that I love. And other than that, I think the look came out really pretty. Tell me what you guys think below. Uh, do you like it when I do uh, get ready with me with the products that we're getting in the boxes? Is it helpful at all? Or do you not really want to see that and just see unboxings? If you could let me know that, I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's nobody else quite like you. And that makes me so incredibly happy. Mm, you guys rock. Love you.